I'm Nigel Smith and welcome to another one of our Covisory Desk Side Chats. Today I wanted to take a moment and talk about what's been going on in the Auckland Chartered Accounting Market, particularly around practice sales. As many of you know, I have been working with chartered accountants in practice for over 35 years, and I know a lot of you. What we've found, and in particular in the last 15 to 18 months, is there's been some real trends out there, and they're worth noting. During this time, I've actively been involved with a sale of somewhere between nine and $10 million of chartered accounting practice fees, which isn't bad for something on a sideline basis. At the moment, there seems to be a few trends. Firstly, for those of you in practice contemplating what to do, uh, are you gonna retire or not? You're having difficulty finding either a staff member or internal person to come in and buy you out, or an external person who will buy your fees. You know it's possible, but it's a bit like the end of the rainbow. You never quite get there. So a lot of people have got close, but never actually managed to convert. Um, there are plenty of buyers out there. It's about understanding who's buying your fee base and why. So let's look at the trends out there in terms of what's happening with buyers and, and vendors. The first is that the trend we're seeing is a lot of people are retiring with around five, $600,000 of fees. They've made a nice tidy living off it, probably a couple of hundred thousand dollars a year, and they've got a reasonable client base. Some client bases see a bit of a client base that's too aged, they haven't bought in some young blood, but generally most of the client bases are reasonable. The second is we're seeing practitioners downsizing, working towards retirement. They don't want to give up, but maybe their practice is a bit big and they don't have anyone coming through. One case we sold 300,000 of a $600,000 practice, in another, we've been asked to look at downsizing a practice from 1.8 million of fees down to about a million or a million two in fees. So we'll sell somewhere between six and 800,000 of those fees for them. That will quieten their practice down, focus them on a few more core clients and give them a better balance of life. On the buy side, what are we seeing? There are plenty of buyers out there for fee bases of half a million dollars, give or take. Typically mature existing practices wanting to bulk up a little bit more and gain uh, the benefits of efficiencies they built into their system through technology and outsourcing. What is interesting, however, is that we are seeing investors coming into the CA business market and buying practices simply because of the investment return they make. If you invest $1 in buying CA practices, you can expect a return of around 25% a year on your money ignoring any future growth in the underlying fees, i.e. the income of a good CA practice after you've paid someone to run it for you is at least 25% if you do it well. Now these buyers aren't private equity and they are not the old accumulators that we saw out of Australia in the past. They are simply people with money to invest in businesses. They understand service businesses and in particular the accounting industry. Some of them will use them as a basis to build a more diversified financial services offering, perhaps involving mortgage broking, insurance, and other things like that, while others will simply invest in CA practices. Usually these will be uh, larger practices that are acquired. The buyers are interested in fee blocks and practices of more than $3 million. They're not gonna buy the half a million dollar fee blocks. They also want the good practices. So for those of you out there in a larger practice, and, and these guys aren't scale limited, contemplating what to do, if you want to sell all or part of your practice, they remain a very viable option. There are at least two or three active in the market at the moment looking for practices. So if you are in any way interested, let's have a talk about that. So at the moment, fees are selling for generally around $1. Um, plus or minus, depending on the quality of the fees. What factors affect that? Well, profitability, how well you run your practices. Are you on zero or myob? Um, what is the age and stage of your client base? And you know how good are your systems? Do you have uh, remote working capability? Do you have online work papers? Or do you still have paper files and a mountain of paper sitting by your desk? All of these factors take it into account. Uh, purchases, particularly the corporate purchases, will look at your debtors and your WIP very clearly because to the extent that you have a uh, large lockup in WIP and debtors, it's going to cost them more to buy your practice than if you don't. So they want practices that are run efficiently. So that's an update for the moment. If you want any more information or want to talk to us about buying or selling your practice, 
then do let us know and I would love to have a chat with you. Hope you have a great day. Bye for now. I'm Nigel Smith and this has been another one of our co-advisory desk side chats.